Today I'm looking at the Veil Tone or the Veil Ton GP100. This is a nice little pedal. It's a it's a compact pedal that does a lot. Let me say a lot in the box. Um, uh, so I'm just kind of go over kind of some of the things that it'll do and kind of do a quick walkthrough of how you can kind of program this. Uh, but uh, I'm going to just play first off just through a couple tones just so you can kind of hear uh, what it'll do right out of the box. So. <laughs> And it, it does have a foot splitch here. Got a bunch of presets already built into it. Anyway, uh, we'll get back into it in a little bit more of just some how to how to dig into this thing. Uh, but let me do say that it does come with a software that you can plug up to this. Let me pull it up here on my computer and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. Let me plug this in on the back here. It's got a USB cable here. And then I downloaded the software from the website. And so I'm going to go and pull it up here real quick. And it's the, the, uh, the Veiltone website. You go to this monitor over here. Uh, it's loading up right now, and it has the ability to, to see everything that's happening here um, on, on the unit itself. So on the, on the, while you're looking at it, you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to see like the, the different pedals that you have. You can create, um, you know, you can turn them on and turn them off. It's got different ones, uh, pretty much any pedal you can kind of think of. Any amp you can think of, it's just got a, a, just a ton. Any cabinet you can think of, it's really amazing. Uh, all the stuff that this does, as well as you can you can put this in like patch mode, or you can put this in uh, you can put this in uh, stomp mode, where like the the foot switch here, this can turn on and off certain things that you can kind of have like two two or different presets type thing. So it's actually set up pretty intuitively. Now I did have issues with the software because the software what happened is uh, as I'm using it it is crashed on me a couple of times so I've been making edits and then all of a sudden I realized like what well, the edits aren't aren't adjusting the pedal anymore uh, and then when I go back to the pedal I, I think that all right, I'm good and then I try to ch change uh, patches and uh, or do anything to it and it wasn't registering and I had to re uh, set it up so um, I'm not sure if that's my computer issue or what the deal is with that uh, perhaps a software update would take care of that. Other than the fact that it did freeze up on me a couple times, I do really like the software aspect of this. I like being able to control everything in here um, and kind of save my settings and all that. So uh, for the rest of the, the demo here, I'm gonna, not going to use the software side of things. I'm going to just keep with this here. Um, in fact, I'm going to get real close to the screen so you can see exactly what is going on. And I'm sorry that it's a little bit dark. Uh, but in order for me to to get this to where you could actually read the screen and not be too bright, I had to darken down the screen a little bit. It's got, um, first of all, this thing is made of a really solid metal. This is a nice metal enclosure. It does have a volume wah effects uh, pedal thing here you can program. And one thing about this too is it's nice and thin. Uh, I don't know how easily you can see that or not, but this pedal is not doesn't take up a, a tall footprint, which sometimes these kind of pedals do. Like they just kind of stick a big pedal on the side. So if you don't use the pedal, not a big deal. Um, uh, I think it actually would kind of been cool to have another foot, like a stomp switch over here, or maybe two, rather than the pedal. But that's neither here nor there. Um, it's got three different uh, knobs here to adjust what you're wanting to, to change. And then it's got a big McMaster knob here as well. And that one you put you can push down to get into different effects as well. So let me just uh, zoom in again here and I'll show you uh, what I'm able to do with this here. So 
just off of this this first patch that it has in it here that's what it sounds like but let's go in and, and dig into it so i'm going to hit edit and then i can see here these different pedals that i potentially can have and i'm going to just kind of scroll through them so it's got pre which is currently off but if i wanted to turn it on then i could do that and if i wanted to hit this button i can make more adjustments on it as well so it's kind of neat that it's got all that happening and then right now it's it's set up as a C wah and I can adjust that to whatever effect that I want right here so if I wanted to make this a compressor or a boost or something like that I could um, so it that's pretty nice that it's pretty easy to select your your uh, your guy um, overdrive pedals I could select which overdrive pedal I want I'm gonna keep the one that's in there amp again all these different amps uh, if you push the button, you're going to get more uh, op, more uh, things that you can select in it. So uh, that's just, you know, all the, the, the different, you know, tone and everything you want uh, you've got there. Oh, oops, let me go back and edit. edit. Um, and then uh, noise, uh, noise gate. Uh, it's got a cab simulator, which is just great. I mean, this cab simulator is awesome. Um, matter of fact, just, just listen to this this tone with and without so here's what did i turn off what did i turn off turned off something there um maybe i turned off the distortion i did did something you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna exit and come back in with this guy yeah i didn't want to save it so um I, i'm not sure i, I try i adjusted the volume there somewhere but let me go over here to the uh, the cab simulator and just well, listen to this. And I turned it off. It sounds like junk, like a d distortion pedal does going through, uh, uh, you know, something without a cabinet. So pretty neat there that it's got it's got that. Um, and then um, we're able to again continue on here. Uh, let's see, it's got an EQ modulations, choruses, different stuff like that, delay and reverb. So it's got basically everything you want um, in there uh, built in. Now, the thing that I like about this and how I would use this is if I go to global here, um, I can go down and I'm gonna select foot switch mode. And I'm gonna change foot switch mode, turn this knob to stomp. And then now I'm in stomp mode. Now what this does is as you can see here on the left, it's got a distortion, and on the right, it's got delay and reverb. Now, these pedals here have turned into like more traditional foot pedals. So I can turn off the distortion or turn off these. So clean, or clean well, it's actually a little dirty sound, but it's basically just the amp. And then I could turn on the distortion. And then I could also turn on just the delay and the reverb. Yeah, the distortion. So if you've got a setup where, you know, a particular song you know you're going to have on the chorus, or, you know, you've got your, your normal tone, uh, just the amp or whatever, or maybe, and you don't have to have them on and off. You can have these always on. Like you could have the reverb all the way on, always on, and the delay always on. But let's say you had a couple pedals that you knew you were going to turn on and off on the on the, uh, the you know the chorus. I'm going to hit the distortion and have a little more gain. Then you can just do that like you normally would with a, a pedal board, which I really like with this this here. Um, and then again, you, you'll be able to make any of these these edits uh, in here. So um, now to do that, let me see if I can. Uh, I'll show you here like the distortion here. It says. Uh, on this knob here, FS1. So if I turned it to off, then it's not going, oh, I'm sorry, uh, what did I do there? Yeah, I could turn it to uh, off, FS1 or FS2. So if I put it on FS2 and go out, you can see that that's part of this second foot switch. It, it, it paired all of those together. So I don't want that on, I want it on uh, FS1, but let's just say we also wanted a chorus to come on here at the same time. So we can go to modulation and we can turn on the chorus on FS1, okay? Um, and then if I wanted to change what I, what, you know, the different effects I could here, but I'm gonna just keep it on a chorus. So now when I go to uh, hit this button, it's gonna turn the chorus and the delay or the distortion on at the same time. So, Click that on. It's got both of them happening. 
so it, it's able to, to you're able to dial in pretty well what you want to do with this. Uh, let me go back into that because I actually don't want the I don't want that on. <laughs> so, and that's in the uh, the stomp. Oh, I turned the wrong one off. Uh, that's in the uh, the stomp um, mode. You know, so uh, different modes. Uh, the other mode, again, going back to it. Let me let me go to the global setting. <coughs> all the way down to foot switch mode. We'll change this to patch. And then now we're able to, to be in the patch mode there. So um, overall, the, the sounds, oh, that chorus on there doesn't sound good. <laughs> but um, let me go back in there and edit this. Uh, take that chorus out, because that, that did not sound very good. Let's see, where's that modulation? And we're just gonna turn that off right there. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I did. I, I, I messed up something on there. There we go, back to the patch. Um, but anyway, overall, this is a, a, a pretty good pedal. I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's competing with that, that you know, small uh, universal pedal. The fact that it's got all the, the effects that you could possibly want in here, as well as the cab simulators and the amp simulators, I really like. So, you know, for 150 bucks, that's, that's what it was selling for on uh on amazon 143.99 uh that is a, a really good price for this pedal for all that it can do um this is a great option for somebody i think that especially is, is wanting to get into multi-effects and you know they don't want to spend i mean i've got pedals that, that one pedal costs 150 dollars so uh getting in in this where you can try out different pedals and, and figure out the, the different orders you can actually change the order of the pedal in here as well of where you want it in the pedal chain uh, there's more here that, that I'm not even talking about. It's got a, a looper as well. If I held these down, I can get into to the tuner, and I can get, if I hold it down, I get into the, the looper mode. It's got 90 seconds of loop play in here. It's got a drum uh, machine that if you wanted to play to. <laughs> So there's, there's options there, and it's got a bunch of different drum beats built in there. So uh, pretty cool little pedal, other than the fact that it froze up on me a couple times. Didn't like that, um, but I've been messing with it now this whole video here for however long this has been. Haven't had any problems with it. Um, I think it had to do with the fact that it was the, hooked up to the software that was causing it. So uh, I'm going to be on the lookout for a software update on that. Uh, but uh, typically, I usually don't use personally software um, to do my stuff. I like for it to be on on the pedal itself uh, because that's where you're going to be playing. That's where you're going to be playing. I think it's just a recorded there we go. It was <laughs> it actually recorded me when I hit the the thing. Uh, that's kind of funny. So anyway, um, so I, I was able to stop it when I pushed those two down down there. Can this thing do a lot? Um, the the Veil Tone GPU 100. Um, let me just let me just say this this does get my approval, especially for somebody wanting to get into an easy. Um, I wouldn't say easy, but to get into a unit, a small unit that has a lot packed into it, it's going to take you a little bit, uh, an hour or two, to just dive in and figure out how to do what you want it to do. Uh, but really cool. This, uh, this is actually a really, really cool pedal here. So uh, anyway, Veiltone, you guys did a good job with this VT100. Anyway, hopefully this helped you make a decision if this is a pedal for you. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Kenneth Russell out, and I'll see you in another review.